Today, I'm very pleased to be talking with Aram from Dev47 Apps. Hello, Aram. Welcome to NDI TV. Hi, Renato. Thanks for having me. Excellent. It's a pleasure to have you. So can you just tell me a little bit about Dev47 Apps and provide some background for our viewers? Sure. I mean, when I was younger, when I was a university student, I kind of made the decision that I would get into some side projects, see if I can uh, make some cool programs or softwares. And unbelievably, now, all these years later, millions of people use apps made by Dev47 Apps. OK, great. And uh, why did you choose NDI? What are the challenges you're actually trying to solve? So it just so happened that the apps that I ended up focused on uh, revolved around the camera and the use of your phone's camera for more than just recording videos locally. My latest app uh, revolved around OBS Studio, and I integrated directly with OBS Studio, and NDI kept coming up very often as I got into it. It's obviously a very big uh, part of video production, and the NDI plugin is very uh, one of the most popular plugins for uh, OBS Studio. And so people kept asking me, you know, are you going to do support for NDI? Uh, what about NDI? And I decided to have a look, see what NDI is all about. And when I realized how easy it is to integrate NDI and how easy it is to use uh, on all platforms, I kind of realized I have all the pieces there to put something together. And uh, I just I realized I could just put an app out there that supported NDI as well as what I already had. Mm. And obviously, a massive part of develop developing your app was using the advanced SDK. Can you just tell me about your experience using using it? Sure. So, um, developing on mobile, then I I think that's very important to make the apps as efficient as possible to try and uh, make the most out of uh, you know not to kill the battery too quickly. And it was important to me to use the onboard uh, chips that most phones have for encoding video. Uh, when I got the regular NDI and SDK, I was trying to, for a long time, figure out how to give it encoded data or how to get it to use the encoder, the encoder that's available on the phone. I ended up emailing NDI, and I got a very quick response, a very positive response, and it turned out that you need the advanced SDK, which supports the HX format, which is obviously uh, for pre-encoded video. And so this then led me to using the advanced SDK versus the regular one so that we can take advantage of the onboard chips that most phones provide uh, in the hope that the apps will be more efficient and uh, easier on the battery. And can you tell our viewers about the very excitingly named DroidCam and the features and the scope that those that it provides? Sure. So DroidCam is the main app that I ended up making a long time ago. And it essentially lets you use your phone as a webcam on your computer. Now, a few years ago, I decided to take on a little side project uh, beyond it where I would integrate with OBS. Uh, a lot of users of DroidCam were content creators, and I realized what a growing field that is. So I ended up making a, an OBS variant of DroidCam that essentially lets you use your phone as an advanced DSLR-like camera directly inside OBS Studio with full controls for everything. And you know it worked great. Uh, it has all the features that you would need, uh, but it's limited to OBS Studio. And I think this is where NDI kind of came in and um, impressed me or Kind of it, it integrates with more than just OBS, and it was uh, clear to me that supporting NDI would uh, let me expand beyond just OBS Studio. So what are your thoughts on NDI's evolu evolution? Oh, I think what you've done, what you guys have done, is amazing. And uh, based on a few videos that I've watched of people reviewing NDI and actual, you know, video production uh, units using it, it seems like it's just so easy to use, and it just makes. Uh, all kinds of complex setups, simple and possible. Uh, and uh, with the release of NDI 5, I believe you guys have started you know, supporting remote connections to the cloud through the WAN. I think that's a really cool addition and uh, unlocks even more possibilities. Uh, and I hope you guys continue to innovate and keep pushing the boundaries and just make it easy. I think that's the best part. Yeah, we're very excited about the uh, limitless possibilities of, of Bridge and uh, NDI Remote. Um, if you had to explain NDI to someone who hasn't used it or heard of it before, um, how would you go about explaining that? Sure. So NDI essentially allows you to take a video or an audio source from any one point and make it available at any other point through uh, a network, whether it be a physical network or a wireless network. And I think the biggest advantage of NDI is what I mentioned before, is just super easy to use. You 
uh, there's support for it already in most software. And if you have custom software, uh, the NDI SDK as well as the advanced SDK make it very easy to integrate it into your existing software. And essentially, you feed NDI audio and video data, and it instantly appears within your network to all other devices in real time. So that you can use that to, you know, create video productions, uh, transfer a lot of people, for example, in the live streaming space, use it for dual PC streaming, where they'll play or create their content on one computer while they use another computer to stream out to YouTube and such. And NDI just makes it seamless. Right, well, I'm going to put you on the spot there, Aram. If I was to ask you just to sum up NDI in one word or a short phrase, what would it be? Uh, video on demand. Great. Thank you so much for talking with us today, Aram. It's been very interesting, and uh, we hope to see you soon again on NDI TV. Thanks very much.